good. Well, it's kind of late afternoon here in West Michigan, so I hope uh, this is going on five o'clock here in Holland, Michigan, and outside it is cold and gray. And today is a what is today is a Tuesday. It is Tuesday, the fifth of January, two thousand twenty-one. And I just looked at my YouTube channel. It's been three days since I made a video. And I've been th thinking about what kind of video to make. I mean, I look at BookTube and what kind of videos BookTubers have been making at the end of the year. And the best read, the, book, the best books they read in the year 2020 and their, their experience over the year or years in booktube and I just really can't come up with anything I mean I have made videos in the past or the best books I read or the most interesting books I read and I think in a certain year but I just can't do that I don't know I just can't get into it I can't even remember what I read in 2020 now I, I do remember reading The Life of Samuel Johnson by James Boswell. I've been wanting to read that for years and I read most of it. I didn't finish it but I read a pretty large chunk of it and I read all kinds of books on his life. Uh, so that was an interesting experience and uh, I read a lot of Christian books in 2020 but nothing really stands out in my mind. Uh, I've often said in my videos that what I enjoy the most about books is just the act of reading. I'm not one to pick a book up and read it from cover to cover. Uh, my wife does that. She'll sit down and she'll read a novel right straight through. Uh, I just can't do that. Now, I did notice that last year I did read a couple novels straight through, but I generally don't. I read for a couple weeks or I'll pick a novel up and read it and then I'll put it aside and read some more of it. But I just enjoy the activity of reading all kinds of books, not just fiction, but biography, I like reading short stories, I like reading letters, memoirs, biographies. I read a lot of Christian literature, Reformed systematic theology, I read Christian spirituality, I read I read the Bible, <laughs> and uh, you all know what I read, so I, that's why I thought if you want to know what I read in 2000. 20, you can look at my videos. I've been making videos for going on five years and you and also you can look you can read my online diary Crooked Fingers. <clears throat> as far as what kind of books I would recommend, do I have any favorites? Um, like I said, I just can't really think of any. Now I can now I do recommend books. If you're going to read anything, I mentioned books, but um, so yeah, so I thought what I do in this video is just, I'm just kind of rambling is that I mentioned in my last video the books I'll be reading in the mornings for my devotions or what I read in the mornings as far as my spiritual life, but for me as a Christian I have to be reading, I read Christian books because I'm a Christian and I have a spiritual life and I'm, I don't go to church so I need to be under God's word, I need to be fed, I need part of the spiritual life and disciplines is not only reading the Bible but reading, you know, reading the Bible but also reading books on the Bible, you know, whatever. You, all kinds of there are all kinds of Christians in the world and they all have their own books that they read so but what I've been reading in the last couple of days I'm still reading uh, the Oliver Wendell Holmes 
A Life in War, Law and Ideas by Stephen Panskatsky. I'm still reading this. I'm almost done. I got maybe a hundred pages left in this. I got this book in the mail the other day. I got it from Bargain Books. The Hour of Fate, Theodore Roosevelt, J.P. Morgan and the Battle to Transform American Capitalism by Susan Burfield. Uh, this goes along. I like reading American history through biographies. And I like, I've been reading, a, I often read over the years American history from about 1880 until, really until... 1960s and I'm always reading over that period of biographies or history books and so I, this looked interesting I found it in bargain books and I bought it because it goes along with my other reading I also today my wife and I we went out my wife had to do errands and we stopped at Went Salvation Army and I found this book, Freud's Vienna and Other Essays by Bruno Bit Bithem. As you all know, I have I collect books on Sigmund Freud, so psychoanalysis, books on Vienna at that time period when Sigmund Freud lived in Vienna. So I found this. I also found this book at Salvation Army today. Christians as the Romans Saw Them by Robert L. Wilkin. I have five other books by uh, Robert L. Wilkin. He is a, an authority on early Christianity. So I found that. I also got uh, in a varsity press. They, they publish academic Christian books and I looked at they sell books for bargain. They have sales, and I bought two from them. They came in the mail the other day. I bought The God of the Gospel, Robert Jensen's Trinitarian Theology by Scott R. Swain. I got this in the mail, and I also bought those on sale at InterVarsity Press, Jehonian Theology, The Gospel, The Epistles, and The Apocalypse. So I got these in the mail. I don't plan to read them. I just, they were on sale. I got them for like $6 a piece. <laughs> it was really, they were really inexpensive. And uh, they look, I really like the writings of Scott Swain. He uh, teaches at Reformed Theological Seminary in Orlando, Florida. So I got those in the mail and uh, got them really cheap. And I got this book today at a thrift store. Just at a thrift store. And I've been reading The Hour of Fate and Oliver Window Holmes. I'm still, today I read, before we left to go on our errands, I read The Imitation of Christ by Thomas Akempis. As far as like, uh, you know, Booktube, I've been in Booktube, YouTube, well I started making videos in YouTube 10 years ago. I used to make little videos of our grandchildren and little odd things, nature videos, but then about five years ago I started making book related videos. And when I first got into Booktube five years ago, I... First, I didn't make videos, but then I realized there was nobody in Booktube just talking about Christian books. You know, not, talk, not talking about Christianity. And since I know a lot about Christian books because I'm a Christian bookworm, I thought I could just talk about the Christian books that in my library and recommend certain Christian books, because when you go to, even to a Christian bookstore, there's all kinds of Christian books. So how do you know what to read? And, and to be honest, and, and, and 
not only in secular bookstores, there's a lot of stuff you shouldn't read or I don't think is worth reading. It's the same thing in Christian bookstores. There's, there's a lot that's not worth reading that, from my, my perspective. And so I thought, well, I would make videos recommending what I consider to be good Christian literature, something worth reading as we prepare ourselves to go into eternal state and meet the Lord Jesus on the Day of Judgment. So that's why I started making videos. But when I first started making, but one thing I have, I've always loved books. And I have been exposed to a lot of different books and watching BookTube over the last five years. And I've come to see and recognize what I really like. And, and I have to admit, I like, if I'm going to read anything, I'd rather read Christian literature. Now, I do read novels. I like reading biographies. I like reading... Uh, one thing I do notice more over the years, I like reading American history, not only history books, but biographies, um, like Theodore Roosevelt. I have a whole bunch of Theodore Roosevelt biographies. I have a bunch of biographies on writers and poets through the American poets, American writers. Um, it just goes on and on and on. So, and I realized when watching book two, I'm not into reading fantasy. Now I do collect certain fantasy. I do do collect certain crime. I do collect certain, uh, I don't read popular literature. I I suppose I just mainly read the Bible and Christian literature and I read people like John Updike or Saul Billow or something like that. I'm kind of a, I'm a mood reader. I read whatever my mood is. Uh, so yeah, I like collecting books, but the one thing I've realized in the last five years, th there comes a place where you don't have any more room for any books. And now I have the, the, the torment of what am I going to do with 12,000 books? I can't get rid of them because I love books. And that's one thing else I realized that there are parts of us that we don't understand, that we can't comprehend, that I can't uh, reconcile, and I just kind of have to come at peace with it. So, as far as my diary today, I ended on page 13 for January 2021. So hoping you're having a good week. I do pray that you're all well, and I just want to make a little video, stop by saying what I read, what I got in the mail, some reflections about BookTube and watching BookTube videos. So as far as the Bible, I'm still reading 2 Kings. I kind of read kind of slow because I read in the mornings and then I write in my diary. And of course, I'm married. My wife is retired, and and I like to watch the birds. I like to sit in silence, and life just keeps going by. So I thank you for all the comments. Thank you for the new subscribers, and do pray that once again that all is well with you. Until next time, bye.